Explorer The Last Tapui on National Geographic is a brand new one hour special in which a team of explorers set out to discover one of the last unexplored regions on Earth deep within the Amazon rainforest. We spoke to the team behind this remarkable expedition. Here now is my conversation with team leader Mark Sinnott. First ascents are basically modern exploration. When you're climbing a piece of rock that no human has ever touched, you literally step into the unknown. They gave us screenings for the last Tapui last night, and I and I watched it. I think I think my first question for you is, why is this only 58 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there was, or there must have been enough for like a series. Um, you know, Bruce's life. I mean, his like with him as the central character. Yeah, how come, you know, we're not doing like a 10 part series or how come we're not writing a book about the guy? You know, for me, I'm the writer. I mean, I don't know if you've had a chance to talk with Bruce, but you definitely saw him on the film. I mean, the guy is one of a kind. No one else. Like right. Him. You're absolutely right, because every time you had those segues where you would cut away to Bruce explaining something or writing in his notebook, I'd be like, oh, more of that, please. Yeah, yeah. Well, someone was just asking me you know, what did you get out of this trip? Or what did you learn from Bruce? You know that I've done five trips with him down there. And my first one was in 2003. So this thing, like this magic that he has, I figured it out 20 years ago. And it's just gotten better and better as time has gone on. But for me, the most meaningful part of, you know, like the media part of this is that I finally got, I got to tell his story and to share his story with the world and with Malaysia apparently and that's just so great and I just I want people to know about him and what he and what he's doing and what he's done no you're absolutely right Mark and 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 here's the thing I did not expect to be as emotional as I was watching this but I'm curious in planning an ex expedition you've done so many with him the biggest complication of course is his age right now and his health can you talk to me a little bit about how that changed the way you did things you know so people have also asked well what was so unique about this you've done all these expeditions the the essence of that is that we were trying to drag an 80 year old man up a giant cliff in the middle of nowhere like have yeah. you ever heard of that no because it's not a good idea <laughs> it makes no sense and so Ultimately, that was my responsibility. I was the expedition leader. You know, I kind of put it all together. If anything bad happened to him, it would be on me. And I carried the weight of that on my shoulders throughout this whole expedition. And so, you know, when we got to that point in the story where we decided, okay, he's not going up the cliff. Yeah. All I felt personally was relief. But if we try to drag him up the cliff, not only up the cliff, but through that crazy jungle that we went through on the way to the base of the cliff, that was one of the most intense, challenging and scary things I've ever done to take someone his age that deep into the middle of nowhere. Uh, just kind of give me some inside baseball. I'm assuming with that moment as well, there must have been something with you guys, right? A checklist, a hard stop. Like, how did you come to that decision or was it just rooted on how Bruce was feeling at the time. It will actually what happened, and I don't know if this came through in the film, but what happened was we had kind of decided that we had to pull the plug on him because we didn't think that we would be able to get him through the terrain safely. Yeah. And the subtext to that is that Alex, who his nickname is no big deal, and you know that he can do anything. He's like Superman. Again. Alex, is, Alex is like, oh, no, no, we can do it. No, we'll, we'll get him up this. And Fuko and I are like, no, man, you don't get it. Like, this is super dangerous. But we, you know, we had three people. So it was kind of a democracy. And Fuko and I were like, dude, we're not doing it. And, and so we decided amongst ourselves. And then Bruce called us on the radio and said that he was dropping out. And I think he was strongly encouraged to make what we would call a wise mountaineering decision by the team doctor, Brian Irwin. So it was like, it was unanimous. It was Bruce, Brian, me, Fuko. The only person who thought he could do it was Alex. <laughs> you ask him about that. <laughs> who probably could, but anyway. Um, yeah. He could have put I'm... Bruce on his back and then just free soloed the wall. Exactly. 
Uh, Mark, I'm out of time. Uh, thank you so much. This is a great hour of television. I had a blast. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, good luck with everything. You too. See you Only our feet have been here that I'm aware of. That was Mark Sinnott. You can watch him in Explorer The Last Tapui, which is now streaming on Disney Plus Hotstar. We've got a bunch of other conversations with the Expedition team. Don't forget to check out those interviews right here on YouTube. Watch it, like it, subscribe to our channel, tell your friends, tell your family. You know what to do.